Let me tell y'all about this first date I went on. I decided to try online dating and met up with this guy I found on Hinge. Off bad, I thought he was really sweet, but even though he was half black, I still felt like there was some cultural differences between us. I wanted to see where this would go, and he offered to take me to his favorite comic book shop. I'm gonna be honest, a bad bitch like me has never been to a shop like this, but I was being open-minded and I wanted to see his interest. He was super excited to be there and it was nice to see someone enjoy something that brings them happiness but i was honestly really lost and bored and this was just not what i had in mind it was nice he brought me into his world and his interests but i wish we would have done something that would have been more fun for the both of us he was very sweet but i wasn't attracted so instead of wasting my time i cut it short and then i enjoyed my drive home even though it didn't go as expected i still feel really good because i'm exploring my options and enjoying my life as a beautiful single woman The problem with this is that even if you as a woman weigh 180 pounds and that man is 120 pounds, he's still going to beat you senseless. I don't think women understand that most men are stronger than most women. It's a fact. I weigh a, a buck 45, probably a little less, to be honest. But you cannot do nothing to me. You can't hurt me. I don't take you serious. You being a woman, you cannot... You can't do nothing. If I wanted to kill you in the alley with my bare hands, I could do that. I want you to know that. So stop thinking because the weight is different that you're stronger than a man. A man that weighs a lot less than you is still a lot stronger than you. Or still a lot more aggressive than you. I'm tired of men trying to play with us like we're supposed to feel bad for wanting them for their money. We don't care if you feel bad about wanting us for our money. Just don't feel bad when we want y'all for y'all sex. I mean, we can play the utility game too and we gonna win because there's plenty more 304s than it is rich men. I mean, shit, y'all can only go dig for so much because it ain't but about the top 15 to 20% that's even worth trying to get something from anyway because wealth is so skewed in this country, but it's a 304 on every corner. We know the boys got us up top, so they ain't gonna do nothing but hitting and send y'all back down to us either with a kid or without one. Either way, we've seen both of them, and that's why they up there putting hot sauce in their condom. Your body might want money more than sex, but your body needs sex more than money. And that's why one of us at the top that came from the bottom wrote the line, either love me or leave me alone. <laughs> Too many of us have caught on. Don't nobody shame a prostitute because we understand the exchange of legal tender for service. But you thought we was gonna cry because we couldn't find wives to marry? We didn't wanna do that shit no way. And once we realized we don't have to be shamed into doing it by females that can't whoop us, the floodgates opened. Little tip for the boys again, if you ever do something risky with a girl, never second guess yourself, ever. I'll give you guys an example. This one time I was talking to this girl, it was kind of fresh, it had only been like a month or two, and we took a cool picture together, so I posted it. I didn't ask her anything, and I tagged her too. A couple hours after when she noticed, I get a ton of texts. What the fuck, I didn't say you could post that, that's not chill. Instead of me going, oh, uh, uh, I'm sorry, do you want me to delete it? I, I, sh I should have checked. I said, I don't give a fuck, too bad. And for three days, silence. I didn't hear a word from her. And I'll be honest, I was tripping a little bit. But I stood my ground, and on the third day, she commented a heart eyes emoji on the picture, double snapped me, and triple texted me. Because she was like, he did it, can't take it back. It's either end this or keep it going. Never second guess yourself. Yes. What is Obama's last name? Obama. Care. <laughs> Care. Care. What's a good height in a guy? Maybe 6'5", at least. It's kind of gross. At least? At least. Maybe 6'7". What, how tall are you? 5'4". What's a good height in a guy? Probably like 6'5". If they're shorter than like 5'10", five, five, they're gross. Really? Yeah. How tall are you? I'm like 5'2". <laughs> What's a good height in a guy? What type of height? Like your vertical height? 6'5". Why so tall? Because they have to be taller than me. How tall are you? 5'6". Five, 5'6", six. Five, six. so like NBA standard? Like, yeah. What's a good height for a guy? I like tall, brawny guys. Okay. 5'6". Five, 5'6"? Six. Five, six. Five, seven. Five, seven. How tall are you? I'm 5'1". Five, 5'1". One. Five, one. So like six inches? Sure. Pretty big difference. <laughs> it happens. Yeah. You only need, what? <laughs> you only need three inches, by the way. Bruh. Okay.